the Bloodline Timeline. We're taking it all the way back to the beginning. We're taking it back to High Chief Peter Maivia. Now, he first signed in the WWE 1977. We know he started wrestling in the 60s. What is your earliest memory of High Chief Peter Maivia? Uh, wow. I was only 12 years old. Uh, I remember uh, Uncle High Chief Peter Maivia used to come over to our home in San Francisco, California, which was my grandfather's place, Alfon Sika's uh, father, right? And which is my mother's brother's. So I remember Uncle Peter, when uh, they used to come to San Francisco during the daytime before they go to the evening show at the Cow Palace, they would come home. If you know, like when you come over to any Polynesian home, we're barbecuing. Mm -hmm. We're cooking up a feast. And, you know, Uncle Alfon Sika used to bring all the wrestlers and Peter. So they would all come over there. We'd all have a feast. And, you know, at 12 years old, you get to, you know, see all these wrestlers around. And, you know, they're all having a good time and so forth. But then during the evening time, we would all go with, you know, Uncle Peter and uh, Uncle Alfon Sika to the Cow Palace. And then next year, you know, I'm seeing Uncle Peter fight Pat Patterson, you know, or Ray Stevens, or, you know, I think of fighting the other cats. So it, it, my memory of uh, Uncle High Chief was on a personal happy guy. He was a family guy that loved to play his ukulele. And he's always liked to sing some more songs. But he was like an entertainer. On, I could have saw him made his own album. Probably. Really? I think so. Well, he was also an actor. He was an actor. Yeah. He was in a James Bond movie. Come on, how cool is that? You know what? He was one of the first pro wrestlers in a Hollywood movie. Uh, was uh, High, uh, High Chief, Chief Peter, Peter Maivia. Yeah. Um, you kind of so, stumbled there. <laughs> well, I mean, those drinks are really good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stay the, stay the course. Stay the course. <laughs> So he was a Hollywood, yeah. Yes, sir. Movie star. Yes, sir. And not only that, he was a stunt coordinator on, on that flick. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you know what? Um, if you can, because he was really close with Afa and Sika's father, right? So they yeah. were uh, blood brothers. Right. So um, can you tell us a little bit about Afa and Sika's father and maybe their relationship? Okay. So my grandfather, Anwai uh, Amtonai, that's where you get... Uh, last name, I know I. Um, so, Grandpa, I'm going to call him Papa, you know. Papa paved the way in San Francisco, California, as far as uh, being the first preacher, Samoan preacher. And uh, him and my grandma, you know, when they came from Samoa, they'd open up the first San Francisco congregational uh, church in Sagamore. And, uh, you know, uh, during that time when they moved from the islands here, as was... Uh, uh, in comes uh, High Chief Peter Maivia. And the story is with Peter, I think it was, uh, you know, uncle comes into the picture. I'm talking about High Chief Peter Maivia. Come into the picture and then it's adopted to my grandfather. In comes uh, High Chief Peter Maivia. High Chief Peter Maivia was a wrestler before Uncle Alpha and Sika. So they would go and I, I guess they would, you know, you know, watch some... Uh, Peter's matches and so forth. Uh, I guess they used to wrestle up in, you know, sometimes in uh, Hawaii, sometimes in uh, Hayward, California, which there was a promoter by the name of Roy Shire. Wow. So Roy Shire is uh, the promoter that ran around the Bay Area. And this is when High Chief Peter Maivia was in the game. Now, during that time, because of that relationship with with uh, Grandpa, on I am tonight, um, Kind of became High Chief's, like, father, right? And then that's how, you know, the brothers, label of being brothers, uh, came about with Uncle Alpha and Sika and, and Uncle Peter Maivia. So what a fitting name years later, Bloodline. Because mm -hmm. that's really what it is. We are connected through blood. Sir. Grandpa's related to Peter's uh, uh, parents uh, back in uh, Samoa. So mm -hmm. there's been a relationship there before it came to the kids, meaning High Chief Peter Maivia and, and uh, into the whole, you know, Alpha and Sika line. And from that that branch, that's like the star of the branch of our Christmas tree. Yes, sir. Right? Because it starts there, High Chief, and then splits off to Uncle uh, Alpha and Sika. Um, before we get to them, yeah. did, uh, did you ever hear the story of Peter Maivia's wife uh, jumping in the ring? Because I guess uh, he, uh, oh. the story goes, uh, he, you know, he kayfabed her. 
And he didn't tell her that, you know, that it was a work. <laughs> and apparently at the Cow Palace, there was wow. a, there's a famous story uh, of, uh, I don't know who it was, what, but they were putting what, heat what? on him. And she jumped in the ring and hit the dude with a wooden shoe. Do you recall this story? Well, that's true. Yes, sir. But that's not only the first time. I've seen that many a time happen with really? Auntie Leah. You know, really? Auntie, Auntie Leah didn't play. Really? Yeah, she didn't play. She was, uh, she's been around the business, been around. A wrestling promoter, you too. Know, yeah, you know, and she's been around, uh, you know, uncles and, and high chief for many a year. So, you know, she was, she was, uh, she was a tough cookie, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was a pretty bad rip to not to smarten Auntie up. But I, I would have, I, I feel that she was already smart. Mm -hmm. But maybe something that she was watching uh -huh. that maybe didn't go as it's supposed to look. Oh, like, or okay. Maybe it was a stiff shot to Peter's head or whatever the case may be. But I, I've seen my uncles laugh many times when people potato them. Really? Potato meaning, meaning really hit them hard. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, wrestlers come in there. They, they do do what they do. And, you know, they, they, they some don't know how to perfect their craft. And... They just take a shot, and unfortunately, they ran into the wrong person. Yes, sir. And that's how you get a receipt. Yes, sir.